What is going on guys? My name is Guns as always and today we're going to talk about something that is very unique to pubs and very unique to you as a player and is key to you getting better as a player. This is something that you must realize as a player and learn to take this in strides because it is not easy. And that is realizing your mistakes. 99% of the time when you die in pubs, it's because there was a mistake made somewhere. And yes, even if somebody manages to shoot you in the back from 200 meters away in a position you couldn't see, there is a mistake there. Now that's a more meticulous kind of mistake, but that's not what I want to focus on in general when we talk about making mistakes as a player. I'm going to show a clip here in a little bit, and I'm going to show a moment where I made a mistake. And uh, during this, I'm going to talk about my realization of the mistake that I made. It was during a fog game, and this fog game's actually fairly boring for the most part as we get towards the end. The mistake that I made, though, you'll see in the clip, is that I did not immediately go for a headshot on a guy I had an extremely clear advantage of. And the rationale in my head is that he has a level 3 helmet, I need a level 3 helmet. However, I wasn't paying attention to my gear, and I already had a level 3 helmet. Even if I do need a level 3 helmet, you have to make the rationale choice of killing this guy outright and possibly destroying the helmet is better than not killing him and losing the game entirely. And that's what happened to me in this clip. Because I wanted to try to get his helmet, which I didn't even need, it cost me the game. This is why you need things like blanket practices, and this is something that I do uh, constantly as I play through games. I look at players and I can assess their gear and I can decide, I want his helmet, I'm not going to headshot him, I'm going to kill him through body shots. And a lot of the times I do succeed in this kind of thing, but it's something that I'm going to start making a new practice of. The fact of the matter is, somebody with level 3 armor, level 3 helmet, or better weapons is a dangerous target to you even if they're a terrible player. A terrible player with an AWM only has to be right once in order to win the fight against you. This means you can't afford to be wrong. Now, blanket practices and rationale aside, which I encourage you to do as a player, let's get back to realizing your mistakes, learning from your mistakes. Now, fortunately for me, I'm lucky I stream on a daily basis. Most of the time when I'm playing pubs, I stream. I can clip something and I can go back and watch it at one fourth of the speed to realize what went wrong and where. And I can tell maybe 10% of the time that I die wrongfully uh, or that I die against a player, it is because of a latency issue on pub sides. And that's a subject I'll talk about in another video in regards to where the game is going in its current state. But the other 90% of the time, it's because I messed up somewhere. Now, every player wants to get better in pubs. Some of you people, <laughs> you people, may have a problem with controlling recoil. When I first started playing pubs, this was an issue that I had. I didn't understand why I really couldn't control my recoil that much. But I come up from a long history background of first person shooters. I was playing Halo, the original Combat Evolved, when I was nine years old. I come from a brand of shooters where I'm used to be able to strafe left and right while I'm fighting my opponent and be able to control my recoil. Even modern games today like Destiny, movement's a very vital part of being able to use your weapon in combat and movement at the same time to be elusive to your enemy's shots. But in more realistic modern military games, like pubs, which pubs is touching the barrier of, but it's not a hyper modern realistic game, moving around is going to shift your aim and where your aim's pointing. That's why if you ADS, you will get a bounce within your red dot. It will move even though you're not moving it. And that can cause your recoil to go off position a lot more if you're firing the gun than just standing still. So I had to teach myself to stand still when playing pubs to take shots, unless it's a seriously intense fight, in which case I need to deploy a lot smarter tactics or I'm in deep shit. Now is this category of advice massive all on its own, and is this something that's extremely general and that someone looking at this may not actually get any kind of answers of how to improve their gameplay? Yes, if you don't actually look at it yourself as a player. The real thing I want you to pull away from this video is that you need to figure out a way to dissect 
why you died. And you need to dismiss the assumption that it was the game's fault in some way. Yes, 100% there are instances where the game fucks you. Hard. But as we've said, that's not always the case. And if you're assuming that's always the case whenever you do die, and it is your fault, and you didn't win that fight for a particular mistake that you made, you'll never learn from the mistakes that you're making. Tempers and anger can go high when playing a game that sometimes may have some occasional deviancy in terms of the result of a fight. Sometimes you feel like it's not reliable. But if cooler heads prevail and you look at what happened in an analytical fashion, you would be surprised the kind of habits that you have while playing pubs, and what kind of habits you need to eliminate. It's not easy for everybody, but one of the things that I recommend, especially if you're not a streamer, is getting OBS, Open Broadcasting Software. You can run OBS in a relatively low, non-high usage format in a video codec that's very easily compressible. You could use this to record what's going on your desktop and watch it back. Will you have the best video quality or audio quality? No, but this gives you a visual feed to look at and dissect what you're doing wrong. And for some players, that will be invaluable, learning what you're doing wrong in the milliseconds. Because believe it or not, as human beings, we have that kind of reflex, we have that kind of adaptability to train. I did martial arts for years, and one of the things that we trained in self-defense is your innate reaction to something. What should your first reaction be to something that's coming at you? And every player that plays pubs has those initial innate reactions. What we want to do is train to, to train your initial reflex to be the right reflex as opposed to the wrong reflex. As to what is the right reflex, well, there are many videos and many discussions we've had about other videos and that we'll continue to have in future videos about what is the right reflex in certain situations, what are the right things for you to try to remember, and what are the right things for you to train. There also might be a video that I'm thinking about doing, and let me know what you think in the comments below about what a good practice is for initial combat, or in general, initial combat reactions that you should have. Anyway guys, I know it's a little difficult for some of you, but if you would like further assistance in trying to find some kind of tools that can help you record yourself so you can see what your mistakes are and help weed them out of your gameplay, let me know in the comments below and I'll see if I can hook you up with anything that might possibly be of ease of use and free to you. Other than that, you guys get to watch me fuck up here at the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, hope it was helpful, we do have more on the way of course. You can watch me live on a daily basis over at twitch.tv forward slash g u n z g a m e s that's guns games with a z i'm guns i'll see you guys later gg i fucked that up so bad and how did that not i need a clip of that i need to understand where i missed my shots Now, okay, here's the first thing I did wrong. I didn't dome him immediately. I had a level 3 helmet. I didn't have to worry about doming him. I absolutely 100% should have domed him. What happened in my head was I saw he was wearing a level 3 helmet, and I go, I need a level 3 helmet. Because, see, you watch. I look. I, I ADS right in top of his fucking head. And I'm like, I need a helmet, and I aim for the body. So that was like, okay.